Thanks, Eric. So we're here with Hunter, our foster coordinator, and our little baby kitten friend. <laughs> Such a cutie. Trying to get out. And uh, Hunter's going to tell us a little bit more about our foster program. So Hunter, can you tell us why this foster program is so needed here at SPCA Tampa Bay? Yeah, so our foster program is super important. Um, for little ones like these, I mean, in the shelter, they can't stay overnight, so they need mm -hmm. someone to care for them around the clock. So it offers us the opportunity to send those animals out to get that care. And then pregnant moms and litters and stuff, instead of staying in this environment, they can go home and be in a relaxed and calm space. Yeah. And how long do they typically stay in a foster home, if you had to guess? All depends. Ones like this little one here would be out for about two months until it's old enough for surgery and gotcha. um, weighs about two pounds. And then, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then moms and litters out for, out for about two months as well. She's hungry right now, so she's chewing on my <laughs> fingers. But <laughs> what a cutie! Oh my goodness. So I know you mentioned pregnant mamas, their babies. What other kinds of animals typically need foster homes? So we have um, guinea pigs and rabbits on pregnancy watch, older animals who need some respite care and okay. um, maybe lose some weight before surgery, maybe their post-surgery um, recovery, like after dentals and stuff, want to make sure they're eating before going out to a foster or a adoptive home. For sure. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And how many animals do you think we have in foster currently? Currently, we have about 43. That number changes yeah. about every day, though. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they keep coming back and going through surgery, then you send more out. So gotcha. numbers always changing. But And for those 43 animals, how many families take care of those? So we have about 93 foster families right now, okay. which is pretty good. That's um, awesome. Yeah, more than we started when I came on. Um, but we're still always accepting more. We're looking for a mm -hmm. lot more people to take puppies and um, pregnant moms uh, have a harder time finding fosters for the dogs and for than sure. the kittens. And the, why do you think that is? The kittens are easier to care for usually. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, taking a mom and a litter of six into your home for dogs, that can be quite a big task. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, like you can see, she's a handful already. So imagine six puppies uh, running around. <laughs> For sure. Um, it's a handful. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so how do we join the foster program if we're interested in becoming a foster family? So I typically tell people to send me an email first. Uh, my email is foster at spcatampabay.org. Um, that way I can, I know that you're interested. I'll mm -hmm. send you a link to apply on our website. That's usually the easiest way for most people. And after that, um, you'll need to attend a foster orientation. After that, you're welcome to foster through our organization. That's so, awesome. Yes. Seems like a relatively simple process. Yeah, and the foster orientation's nice because people get to learn a little bit about our policies, learn mm -hmm. some training, and get to tour the whole facility. So That's great. Yeah, get a better idea of what we do here. Yeah, feel more connected to what they're doing and get to see the difference they're making. That's right, really, really exactly. Cool. Awesome. So for those who aren't able to take animals into their homes to foster them, but they still want to be involved and support the program. Do you have any suggestions for them? Yeah, so, um, I mean, if you can't foster in your home, we're always accepting donations, of course, for the foster mm -hmm. program. Right now, we're looking for some more X pens, like the metal play pens for dogs and puppies, um, with the increase with moms and litters sure. recently. Um, always accepting kitten and dog formula. That's super important during this time of year. Um, but there's also other volunteer opportunities here, like walking the dogs and stuff. That a great way to help the animals here if you can't help them in your home. Definitely. That's awesome. Is there anything else that you think we should know about the foster program here? Mm, no. I think we covered most yeah, of it. So. I think so. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Hunter, for joining us. Thank of you course. so much to this <laughs> sweet little <laughs> yes, chewing on rambunctious <laughs> kitty. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, if you're interested, you heard uh, Hunter, you can send him an email. You can reach out to us on social media if you're interested in fostering or volunteering in any capacity. There's also an application on our website. Um, but that's all for now. Back to you, Eric. <laughs>